Trevor Vass from ATC Talent Talks. How are you? Very well, Trevor. Yourself? I'm good. Moses, um, I'm going to do a bit of an interview for our Australian <laughs> audience. I, I get you to introduce yourself and say something about Australia, maybe in an Australian <laughs> accent. <laughs> Well, it'd be hackneyed to say good day, mate, but uh, I could put a little bit of the accent in it, having spent some time in Melbourne and loving wor- working and living there. Um, I'm currently the head of talent acquisition at Sun Life Financial, which is a uh, predominantly Canadian and US based insurance and investment company. I've been in recruiting for 15 years plus and have enjoyed the corporate side of it as well as the agency side of it, as well as the campus side. So I know a little bit about recruiting in a number of different facets. Wonderful. I heard uh, you speak about some of the things in relation to referrals and how you can sort of leverage up your recruitment function from a quality perspective. Would you mind sharing that with our Australian audience, please? Sure. I think when we look at channels and oftentimes recruiting leaders and recruiting managers will mix their metaphors and talk about channels and types in the same breath. The reality is channels would be things like your job board or your career site, but types are really the kind of source of candidate. So when we think about quality, frequently, Trevor, you'll say the senior leadership of an organization is demanding better quality in the hire. How can we predict that? Usually there's a lagging indicator that tells you after the fact whether they were quality or not. But there is a way to actually look at quality coming into the pipeline beforehand. And there's quite a bit of evidence that suggests that three types of candidates, those are the ones that come by referral, the ones that are alumni or rehires that have worked there before, or internal transfers, those three populations of people tend to be higher quality. And that quality is measured by engagement scores going up both for the new hire and the people around them. It makes sense intuitively. These are people that they've, they're working with their peers or friends and they've sort of got a stamp of approval that they are better quality that way. You've got internals, so they already know the systems or the processes. They have good relationships. They tend to have a shorter time to productivity, do better on the job. And then rehires, people that have already worked there, they already have performance data on their capability and keeping in touch with them is really relevant so you can bring them back at the right time for a career. So really the challenge for recruiting leaders is to think about their pipeline differently. If you look at your pipeline and spread it out and say, where are all of my candidates coming from? Most research indicates 15 to 20% of people in the average large size organization are coming by referrals. The same 15 to 20 or so percent are coming from internal transfers through jobs and about 5% are coming back. So somewhere around 40 to 50% of the funnel is already quality candidates or preceded quality candidates. Here's the wonderful part. The rubber hits the road when you say each of those spaces can be manipulated. Each one of those populations can have targeted programs that would allow you to improve the intake for those. So best-in-class organizations are seeing 15% on their alumni or rehires, 30% or more on their referrals, 30% or more on their internal movement. When you do that and you aggregate again, now your funnel looks like it's been preceded to roughly 75 to 80% on quality. So as a recruiting leader, not only are you guaranteeing typically faster, better, certainly better in the quality and cheaper, but you also have less risk. Only 20% of your population for hiring is an unknown, coming from your website or coming from an agency or what have you. Those are pretty good odds, I would think, for any leader. Moses, it's been a really enlightening interview. I thank you for your time, and I value your friendship. Thank you so much, Trevor. Nice to have the chance. Thank you. Take care.